What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Barbell Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing some quarantine fishing. I got some live minnows, uh, different sorts of rigs, jigs, spinners, all sorts of shit. And uh, the world is shut down right now. There's no one here, obviously. Uh, there's not really any disease vectors outside and I don't think they're shutting down the flow of a river anytime soon. So as long as I'm healthy, I'm going to stay fishing. But yeah, my school is shut down, my work is shut down, all this due, of course, to the Chinese novel coronavirus, and, you know, I'm taking the necessary precautions, I'm taking the necessary precautions as much as I can, you know, avoiding groups of people, avoiding crowds, I'm upping my supplements, my vitamin C, I'm eating very healthily, and uh, everything that you should be doing right now. But I'm just getting started, getting my stuff rigged up. I'll show you the rigs that we're using. I got a bucket full of like 20 live minnows, and uh, we're going to be seeing how that works out. I'm going to go for some white bass, sauger, walleye, smallmouth, you know the drill. Typical predatory fish. We're going to see if they're biting. Um, you know, if I catch something, I might use it as cut bait, maybe try to catch some catfish, might be some gar around. The one thing, though, it is noon, so it's pretty early for me, actually, uh, to be out here fishing. So I'll be hopping spots, I'll be in each spot for about an hour, and if it doesn't turn up, it doesn't turn up, and I'm just going to go somewhere else, see if I can get on some fish. Uh, thanks for tuning into this video. We're going to catch some, so stay tuned. So... Looks like the river's at a pretty manageable level. We got some pretty clear water. It's on a bit of a downswing, fishing a descending river. It uh, offers some unique challenges, but I think uh, I'm ready for it. So in this area of uh, uniform high current, I'm gonna throw a few things. I'm gonna be throwing, oh, you can't even see. In this area of uniform high current, I'm going to be throwing a few rigs and uh, just see really what's going on in this stretch. Stay here for like 20 or so minutes. If I don't get a bite or anything, then I'll head up that way, try to find some pools. And uh, yeah, just cast around different stuff, see what we can turn up. All right, so I'll just go over some of the rigs that I'm going to be throwing here. As you guys know, I like to throw a mix of stationary live bait there's a hawk, hawk or an eagle flying around up there um, I like to throw a mixture of artificials and stationary live bait so the first rig that I'm going to throw out there this is a pretty uh, new one to me but it's pretty well known to others so here I have my Daiwa Laguna my, my Daiwa Laguna 2500 that's the real Berkeley Amp it's a one piece 6.6 six medium action I have 10 pound white power pro and then I have 10 pound cigar red label fluorocarbon for the leader here I have a floating jig head this much leader and then I have a swivel and a one ounce bank sinker so the floating jig head on this rig is really important because it keeps that bait up off the bottom and gives it a way better presentation than you would get otherwise, especially when you're fishing live bait. You can use this rig on a curly tail or just pretty much anything, but uh, gives a really good presentation. So that's the first one that I'm gonna be throwing. And then the second one is one that you guys are really familiar with if you watch my channel. And that is a typical dropper loop rig. Oh, that's hooked up on something. Yeah, that's definitely not enough weight to keep that stationary, but I'll go over that in a second and fix it. Uh, second one is, well, I'm gonna have to tie it. I forgot uh, my bank sinker's off this one. So let me get everything rigged up. Let's see if we can catch some fish. I'll keep you guys updated. New spot. I mean, the virus isn't real. Doesn't mean it doesn't kill some people, but the total hysteria unified, and now the National Guard and troops, and already I saw police 
Now there's privacy checkpoints here in Texas blocking a highway yesterday. It is all. Third spot, same thing, we're going to use these minners. I saw a bunch of uh, micros around here, looks like some little shiners, so hopefully there's some predatory species feeding on those shiners that would be interested in some of my minnows here. You never know, but at least that's the hope. If it comes to it, I'll probably end up throwing something different, but as for now, we're just going to keep running with this and see how it goes, because I, I still have faith in these these rigs and this setup. Might be uh, ill-informed, might be misplaced, but I got faith at least for now. Oh, damn. Oh, did you guys? I was snagged on my own line and I had something grab it. What is this? Oh, this is nice. Don't come off. This is on that floating jig head rig, guys. What is this? It's big. It's a drum, I think. Oh, it's a big smallie. It's a giant smallie. Let's go! Woo! <laughs> yes! That's a monster smallie. Oh my god. Yes! Let's go! That's a. Hey guys, this is my first smallie of 2020. God, I hope that was recording. I almost pulled my pole in the water. That is a chunker. Oh, please tell me that was recording. Yes! Oh, check that out, guys. That is a pig. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you know, that's a big smallie. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Let's get the measurement on this dude. Hit the, hit the live or hit the dead minnow rigged on the floating jig head right out there, right, right out in the current seam. Hit right there. All right, let's get a measurement on this guy. Bite in my hand. Well, that's a good sign. Smallies are starting to spawn, looks like. All right. Tip to tail. That is 18 and a 18 and three quarters inches. That's a nice one, guys. That's, that's better than almost every smallie I caught last year. I'm going to get, get him some water and I'm going to take a picture. Ah. Guys, that is... Oh, it's been tough. It has been tough fishing these past few days. You know, I mean, I haven't really been able to, to turn up fish the way I want to, but to catch a guy like this makes it all worth it. Makes it all worth it. Check that out, look at that. That's a Fish Ohio for sure. Let's get a picture. All right guys, we got our picture. Let's let this big girl go. Oh, there we go. Yes! Nice! 
Let's get after him.